llamo Juan Cancio, mi apellido es Barreto, tengo dos apellidos. Juan Cancio Barreto, a South American man, says he has two last names, which is common for Latin Americans. He says his father is from Paraguay and his mom is the daughter of foreigners. Juan Cancio plays the requinto, which was created in Mexico. Now Juan Cancio popularized the instrument in Paraguay, where he is a legend. Juan Cancio lives about four hours north of Asuncion, which is the capital city of Paraguay. He is the only musician from his family. He says his brothers and sisters were all educated at universities and have professional careers. Juan Cancio says they sought school, and he, ever since he was old enough to have conscious thoughts, felt drawn to music. He described his upbringing in something similar to a jungle, with the bareness of things and the simplicity and richness of being surrounded by nature. He described his family as hardworking and as woodworkers, and that in his heart he remains a countryman. And despite national fame, he says he is not a city guy. Music, says this 57-year-old requinto player, is what he guesses God wanted for him. Ciudad del Este, Juan Cancio's home city, is where he raised his four kids and where you'll find his grandchildren, living the life he has always known. Juan Cancio credits his talents and inspiration to God and is grateful that these gifts have allowed the simple man to see the world, enjoying, working, living, and trying to honor life. On this trip to Maryland to play his signature requinto music, he is with friends and his oldest son, 34-year-old Juan Angel. Juan Cancio says that although his son plays music alongside his famous father, that the younger man is less a musician than a successful businessman who imports and sells cars. Everything I have, I owe to the talent God gave me, Juan Cancio exclaimed as he listed friendships, well-being, and spoke of gratitude for all. Juan Cancio says that if you want to be a musician, do it. He says he has gained all through music. Thanks to the money he has earned as a musician, he has been able to send his children to the universities. This gentleman laughs at his good fortune. His brothers, with their professional degrees have not seen the world, and that he, this simple man, who was once illiterate, followed his heart, and it worked out. Tres cosas, Spanish for three things, in his final words, as he says he always likes to say, be thankful and grateful to life and to God, and that the best way to honor life is not to carry these three things on your shoulders. The worries of today that we all normally have, let them go. Whatever happened in the past has already happened. Let it go. And finally, live in today, not tomorrow. That's the future. De lo de ayer que ya murió y no ocuparnos de algo que todavía no existió. Vamos a vivir la vida ahora. Gracias. Chao.